Hello everyone. Welcome to my playthrough of Terra Firma Greg. In this video, you will see how Russia's worst mod pack will crush me in a variety of ways. Let's get started. We begin gratification by loading up the menu of Terra Firma Greg, which actually looks pretty cool. And just as I load into a world, this happens. Time for attempt 2. I think this mod pack is going to be a bit harder than I anticipated. I also noticed that the mod pack has Opti Fine pre-installed, which is sus. Whatever I give up. Time to load another world and see if I get a decent spawn point. Unfortunately, it looks like the answer to that question is no, but after 4 attempts, I load into a world. And I notice that quite a few things are different from normal Minecraft. The most important one is the addition of Terra Firma Craft, which is a very suspicious mod. It is going to take me a while before I learn all of this. Much like Greg Tech, everything here is different. The problem is that there is both Greg and whatever this is. I begin Terra Firma Greg's progression by running around and picking random sticks and stones. But unlike Greg Tech New Horizons, the quest book doesn't actually tell me what to do. I must figure it out by myself. I have made myself a fire starter. I still have no idea what I need it for. The quest book now wants me to get copper. The only way I can get copper at this stage is by walking around and trying to find orange rocks. I am now running around to find a copper rock. This will take me several minutes. I am barely at the third quest and this pack is absolutely destroying me. Terra Firma Craft is an incredibly realistic mod, adding mechanics like realistic primitive progression, thirst and temperature, weather, and pretty much everything you can think of. I will now spend the next several minutes trying to make stone tools. Turns out that you need to pick up two stones, and then right click them to open a GUI and click some stone blocks to make the two magically appear. And now, I will struggle with the extremely simple task of cutting a tree. Somehow, they made this take two full minutes. Why? Because we hate you. The next step towards gratification is an anvil. I need to find myself an igneous rock to make a stone anvil. However, the quest book didn't tell me what to do, so I was very confused. And after 17 minutes, I am not even close to getting an anvil. I have found marble, but it's still not a viable stone for anvil making. I have walked over 2000 blocks and I still haven't found anything. I must walk across an entire ocean like Jesus did back in the day. However, it turns out that I have a massive skill issue. I can literally already make copper tools without using a stone anvil. But I still need the anvil for other things, so it's not like I wasted an hour. I need to make clay to make a firing pit so I can make a mold for my pickaxe. And when I get a pickaxe, I can just dig down to get my beloved igneous rock. All of the exploration made for a very comfortable gameplay experience. Terra Firma Greg also adds thirst, which made me die unexpectedly every few minutes. I respawned 3000 blocks away from the death point, which led me to do a little bit of cheating. However, the grind is not even close to being over. I must still get the stone needed for the anvil and some clay to make tools. Terra Firma Greg makes clay extremely painful, as I haven't found it in over 20 minutes of searching. I have once again found New Horizons. I went on an island and found this. If you didn't know, Brescia is one of the igneous rocks required to make the anvil. I can get started on this but there's a small issue. No pickaxe. Making a pickaxe is actually quite simple. What you need to do is to Fortunately, all I needed to do to find some clay is just to touch that goddamn grass. I've also found some copper and tin for mining later on. The funny clay can be used for making clay molds, which I will use for making tools. And here's another big milestone. I have made fire for the first time by right clicking three logs with a fire starter. Humans took hundreds of thousands of years for this, but it just took me a few hours of intense grudge grinding, and here is me trying to light a pit kiln for several minutes. 
I made a type of fire called a fire pit, which is not what I want. The quest book today is being absolutely helpful, as I have been reading this thing for 10 full minutes and I still don't get what it says. What the fuck are forceps? Question mark, this looks like someone who Google translated the quest book from Russian or something. Anyways, I finally used my last three brain cells to figure it out what it says. I had to make a knife to make some straw, then use the viki to put the unfired mold on the ground, and then put eight straws and eight logs above it. Then light it with a fire starter and then what? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And after two hours, it is finally time to begin the gaming. Thanks to Terra Firm at Greg's glorious quest book, I did not know that I had to find strength for wood tongs to get the copper out of the mold. So I am actually stuck. The only option for me is walking another 200,000 blocks to find string. I just wasted a full hour trying to get the thing out but nothing worked. Here I am making myself a spindle, so I can use it to make string. I have to fire it and wait 10 minutes for it to cook, now that I have a spindle. I am going out and walking approximately 1 kajillion blocks to find sheep, so I can get some string. With my string I can make wood tongs, an item that will make me able to touch hot stuff, and I have somehow found a sheep in only 3 minutes of walking. It is time to assassinate the sheep. I then use my knife to cut the sheep's skin into wool, and then use the spindle to make it into wood string. After all of this is done. I can go to attempt 3. I will put the copper parts into the vessel so I can make myself a copper pickaxe. I hope that I do not fuck this up for the third time, and here is me trolling a coyote while I wait for my yummy copper to cook, here's me taking the molten copper out of the oven. I can use my specialized metal working equipment to pour the copper out of the thing and put it into a pickaxe mold. And after waiting for it to cool, I have done it. A simple copper pickaxe in 3 hours, 54 minutes and 17 seconds, with just a bit over 5000 blocks walked. This is such a lovely game with such pretty gameplay, after all of this, I can finally go punch that goddamn rock. Something that I said I would do over 4 hours ago, it's the mod pack's fault for making everything incomprehensible. The quest book was originally written in the Sussian language and then has been Google translated into English. Terraformacraft 1.12 tutorials are also pretty hard to come by on YouTube, so it took me a while to learn some things. I am now terrified of the Anvil interface. Thanks for watching. If you want to play TFG, the mod pack link is in the description.